Hey, yo, boys, I was going to make a video about gambling for Celestial Essence, but we got to put this PSA in the video first because everyone is losing their minds collectively. I've been tagged in this shit more than, I don't know, when I was a kid playing tag. The Asgard defense tokens are expiring in two days and two hours, and this countdown continues to go on. I have no idea what's going on. My guess is that whoever coded this in the game made a mistake. They forgot to add a zero. And uh, yeah, it's not supposed to expire this quickly because as you can see from the event quest itself, it still has 12 days and two hours. So I'm guessing they just missed a one, right? Because two days and two hours plus a one in front of the two is 12 days and two hours. And then suddenly the tokens line up with the event expiring. So I know this is really frustrating and it also very clearly uh, reflects the poor quality of this latest update with bugs on Odin and Malekith and just shitty reworks for Angela. Uh, however, there's nothing we can do. Um, you can just, you, well, we should point it out to Marvel Future Fight on social media, which trust me, so many people have been doing because they've been tagging me in it. Um, just point it out to the devs and, and then they'll figure it out. Like they'll fix it before the event is over. There's no way that we were going to lose that. People are like, oh, I guess we lost the P card for this month. There's there's no way they're going to like not give us these rewards. If anything, if anything, they're going to give us more tokens. But I hesitate to say that because I know some of you guys are so lazy that you're just looking for any excuse whatsoever to not do shit in the game. Uh, and so then you're not going to log in hoping that we get an extra like thousand tokens. And then when we inevitably don't, you're going to go crying to the forums about how the game is so unfair. So anyways, yeah, just just be aware that that's happening. Um, don't freak out because literally there's nothing we can do. And hopefully the devs figure it out. Like I'm just at this point, I'm just waiting for the summer, the mid the, the, the mid month summer shit because this update sucks. And the devs are obvious like the devs that worked on this update that we're in right now obviously suck. And hopefully they uh, go through training or they, they never work on an update again because they suck. So yeah, let's just let's just move on. So I'm going to be gambling for artifacts. We got 43,000. Ayo! 43,000 Celestial Essence. Like, I thought about waiting. Um, there aren't that many new artifacts that are good that I want necessarily. That's the thing. But at the same time, there aren't a lot of artifacts, I think, on the horizon that I want either, if that makes sense. So we're just gonna we're just gonna start, brothers. We're just gonna start and see see what happens. We might not do the full forty thousand, but we're certainly gonna go. Oh shit! We're certainly gonna go part way with this at least because let me see if I can pull Odin, or let me see if I can pull some upgrades, or if I can put just pull some. You know what? Even if I just get some fodder five and six stars, so I can reroll some of my shit. Boom! There we go, baby. Kobe with the <laughs> Kobe with the triple. We got a five star Thanos. Believe it or not, I have five star five star Thanos already. So that is uh, looking like a reroll. However, I need to check if it's the right um, thingamabob. Actually, you know what? Let me let me back out. I don't want to I don't want to back out because I lost the the good RNG there. But I actually want to check. Okay. Oh no, I have a six star for Thanos. Huh. Wow. Yeah, that's weird. Did I choose that from a selector? Ooh, I hope not. What am I doing going to world boss, bro? Sometimes my my muscle memory just kicks in for the game modes that I play the most. And uh, I find myself just going through um, going through the, the, the menus in a very weird way. Even though I didn't want to go to world boss at all, bro. Absolutely cooked. A three-star wave. You know what would be really nice, actually? That I that I rarely talk about. Four star Nadia Van Dyne, Wasp. Yeah, believe it or not, I think I have a five star on her or a three star on her, but a four star. Ooh, four star Doctor Octopus. Nice. Um, a a four star would be usable for the um, what's it call it? Oh, what it, what is it called? The not the artifact. It's the uh, oh four star Icarus. Nice. Okay, we get a lot of root. A lot of re-rolls. Um, the uh, shield. Bro, I cannot remember what this shit is called. Shield archive? There we go. Shield archive. Yeah. Uh, guys, pressing two buttons on either side of the screen is a very difficult task. Okay? My my brain is at full capacity right now. Uh, I'm in the immortal words of uh, Brandon Bradley Cooper. I'm using 100% of my brain right now. Or Scarlett Johansson or any of the other 50 hacks that made stupid-ass movies. Talking about oh, limitless and all this shit about, you know, taking a pill to unlock 100% of your brain. Anyways, um, 
yeah. So, Nadia Van Dyne. I think you need three. Ooh, three-star Hulk. I think you need three four-star Nadia artifacts in order to uh, get that last bit of thing. Let me show you what it is here. We're only, yo, 10k deep, and we got a bunch of four stars and a five star. This is quite nice. So, you go over to the archive. You go over to the shield archive that I was stroking out trying to say. And then it's this. No, it's not this one. It's this one. Energy core. And if I do it... If I, if I finish it and, I, and I've finished everything else, 650 instinct attack. That's not bad at all. But I need three of these bad boys. I don't have any. Now, you can use the tokens to select it. Like, I could use the tokens to select her artifact. But fuck that. I'm not doing that. That's, that's a massive waste, right? Those tokens are for a character that comes out that I really want to get their artifact. And I don't want to spend a bunch of money or I don't want to spend my tokens. You know, the, the, whole, the whole thing. So, uh, yeah. In, in the meantime, we're just going to hope and pray that we get it from here. But otherwise, yeah, I actually don't have a lot of other artifacts. Ooh, three-star black cat. A lot of other artifacts that I... Oh, Gwen. Oh, Spider Gwen and Odin. Yeah. Oh, Absorbing Man. Spider Gwen and Odin would be nice. A five-star or a six-star destroyer uh, would be nice as well. Just to experiment with that because uh, of Reflect and stuff like that and cute shit like that. So there's a few, there's a few that I could want, but yeah, it's just more, especially if Luna comes around again, right? If if, if we're all believing, we're all hopping on that Luna tier four train. Um, her her artifact sucks, first of all, uh, and I already have one. I already have a, I believe I have a four star version on her. So I was just thinking about it. It's gonna be like a couple more weeks minimum, like three, four weeks minimum before I can do. It. Yo, six star Venom. This is the this is the third time I think. Yo. This is the third time I pull Venom six star from this gambling. That's crazy. That's a real. That's really good because it's a reroll, right? That's a reroll, and we'll we'll do that reroll on video, so you guys can see what that looks like, uh, and see if I get anything good out of my reroll. I don't know whose artifact to reroll though. I don't want to reroll Thanos. Is not screw that. Uh, although we did see that it's the wrong, um, whatever instinct. Honestly, when you pull, when you open the chest at 250 at the bottom, they should just have the skip button at the bottom. I don't know why the skip button is at the top on the right corner. It actually is pretty irritating. And yeah, they should fix this. They should also just make these animations cooler, man. I've said this so many times. Ooh, three star miles. I would love a, yeah, I would love a four star, five star miles as well, uh, along with Spider Gwen and Odin, but we're not seeing any of the new boys. But we still got, hey, we still got 20K to go. We still got 20k to go and people have been farming more essence lately because you have to open up a uh, rift for the uh, daily tokens, right? For the, the tokens that are expiring. So I've been seeing a lot more rifts and therefore I'm getting, been getting a lot more essence from that action. So yeah, let's see what we get here. Absolutely. See, that's, it's, mad, it's, it's mad annoying. It's mad annoying. I got to say. But yo, we got the we got the six star Venom, we got the five star what you call it Thanos, and then we got a bunch of four stars. So this has been quite nice thus far. Could be better, could be worse. That's always how it goes. Uh, I think the I think having a four star or higher Shadow Shell wouldn't be bad either. Yo, six star Robbie Reyes, six star Robbie, six star Bobby Robbie. Yo, I skipped way too fast through that. So two. Back to back six star artifacts. Now, funny enough, Robbie's artifact. So look at this. For Venom, we already have one. Oh, you know what? It's so funny. His is the wrong uh, instinct. Imagine if the one I pulled. Imagine if it was the right instinct. Imagine it's not, uh, which sucks. But yo, we got a six star Venom and a six star Robbie. Now, the Robbie one is actually um, a support artifact, right? You can see they're flame allies, they get 30% fire damage. Of, of or 30 percent of fire resist gets converted to fire damage plus 0.5 total instinct and then they get an additional 15 percent fire damage with an additional stack on the instinct now how does that compare i'm just curious how does that compare to his artifact right now that i think i have a four stars uh where's am i blind oh there he is uh so i do have it at four stars it is 23 and 10. That's pretty good. Honestly, I would not equip the six star. <laughs> I know it's a support artifact. I would not equip that. I would just use that as a reroll. Six star artifacts are hard to come by. And generally speaking, when you have a tier four, like if you have a tier four character 
and you have their artifact at four stars, five stars, or six stars, generally speaking, you want to try to get it to be the right instinct because of how the instinct scaling works. Yo, four star Luna. Okay, we'll check that out later. Three star Punisher. I'm going through them too fast, man. Um, but yeah, generally speaking, if you have a tier four and you have a four star, five star, or six star artifact for them, you want to make sure it's the you want to try to get it to the right instinct. It can be very difficult to do, and it can also be very expensive. I'm not saying you should spend money getting spare artifacts to re-roll. I don't want to stress it too much. It's not as important as getting the right CTP or getting the right cards, but it can still be important. So I would say prioritize it for the characters that are tier four that you have that you care the most about. Ooh, three star Venom or sorry, <laughs> three star Lizard uh, for the characters you care the most about and also for the characters who uh, you use the most. Like if you use Jean in all content and you have her with like a hybrid build and you have her artifact. Yeah, you probably want to get that uh, to the, have the matching instinct so she gets even more benefit out of it. Or whatever. If you use Adam a lot for PvP, uh, then again, you want that matching instinct because it's just going to enhance the effect of the artifact. And in the case of both Jean and... In the case... Ooh, five-star Spider-Woman. Three-star Bishop. Bro, why do I keep skipping through the good ones? God damn. I'm just so... In, I'm, I'm so intent on, on pressing these buttons correctly. I'm not even paying attention, bro. We're going to have to go check out in the inventory. Damn it. I'm missing that hype moment. You know, I'm like, I'm skipping past myself. That's that's deep. That's deep. Skipping past your own emotions. That's that's tough. Uh, Yo, five star spider woman. I can't remember what her artifact is. Is it a support artifact? No, you know what? Her artifact sucks. It's just like increased elemental damage. Damn. You know, I. Yo, six. Star Destroyer! Hey, that's crazy. Let's go. That's huge. That's huge. That's a video. That's a fucking movie, dude. That's a video right there. I gotta I gotta take destroyer into PvP now and see what that ass can do. Let's go. He's a suit of armor. Calm down. It's a suit of armor. Three star Kingo. That's massive. No, nah, I'm just kidding. Like, three star Kingo's trash. <laughs> Nah, <laughs> uh, anyone who's pissed at my luck and then imagine that the Kingo one was good, you're cooked. Uh, she Hulk, three star. Okay, nice. That's a support artifact. Yo, this has been a great pull, man. 40k essence, well spent. I'm loving it, dude. I have such good luck with essence pulls, man. God damn. God, god damn. Last one here. Boom. All right. So, yeah, very, very happy with that. Let's take a full tally here. One, two, three six star artifacts three six star artifacts and then one two five star artifacts and then a whole bunch of four stars here it only lists one two three three of the four stars i don't know why i think it like booted me out of the chat and it had to reset i definitely got more than four star artifacts uh three four star artifacts um in total so let's take a quick look here we have okay i'm gonna show angela but yeah we got the three six stars Yo, that's huge, bro. 5% of reflected damage. Wow, nice. Very nice. Sucks that it's not the right instinct, again, because that percentage does really add up. And then we got the two five stars with Spider Woman. And Spider Woman is just elemental damage, which is corny as hell, dude. Uh, and then we got one Icarus, two Luna. Just two? Was it really just two? Three Dr. Octopus? Nah, it was more than three. Oh, really? Only three? Three four stars. Two five stars. Bro, I got as many. I got as many six stars as four stars. That seems that seems a little sus. That seems a little sus. Now, as far as who we're gonna re-roll, so we see we don't need to re-roll this. It's the right instinct. We do need to re-roll this, but I'm not using Thanos very much right now. And his honestly, his artifact is not very good. So it's not very meta. Uh, here it's very meta, so you want it to have the right instinct, and it does. This one is probably what I'm going to re-roll. Yep, because Wolverines is not the right instinct. So let's go ahead and re-roll this now. Change option. Let's go ahead and sacrifice Venom, and let's see. We're looking for, we're looking for order. Show me that order, baby. Show me that order. Cruelty. Fudge, man. All right, we're gonna try one more time with Robbie Reyes. Show me that. Show me that order, baby. Bro, <laughs> I've rerolled. 
<gasps> I've rerolled this artifact more times than you know. I've rerolled this artifact more times than you know. It's definitely more than twice. I I'll say that much. It's definitely been more than twice, and it's really annoying. I've never seen order. Increasing basic damage to enemies with leadership is not bad. Like it, it affects Sentry, it affects Spider Man, um, but it's also not that good. I would prefer maybe getting um, uh, Pierce damage reduction or something like that. It doesn't really like honestly. The instinct matters more. Believe it or not, the instinct does uh, kind of matter more. But may maybe it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe I need should I should roll this for pure evil or something like that because I'm really only getting more instinct to increase the heal that I that I pop at the end. Right, and try to get that closer and closer to 100%. So it's like a true full heal. But still, I do want it to be the right instinct because I just want it to be matchy matchy. So it is a little bit irritating that it's still not matchy matchy. However, it's got he got the right one. Oh, you know what? Magneto also doesn't have the right one. Um, and Magneto scales his ignore dodge and his basic damage dealt to boss types. That's pretty nice. So again, for Magneto, you probably would want it rerolled. We're gonna go ahead and reroll this with Thanos. Thanos has the right instinct, which is funny. Destruction. Um, but oh, but it's oh yeah, it's the right one. But anyways, we, we want destruction for uh for, for Magneto. Let's see here. Order. That's the instinct we need for Wolverine. Okay, yeah. I like this game. This is fun. I, I don't know how I feel about Spider-Woman. Hit me up in the comments down below. Should I use Spider-Woman to re-roll or should I keep it? Uh, everybody else pretty much has the right instinct. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty well, except Venom. But uh, that's fine. We don't we don't worry too much about him. We also have to re-roll Black Bolts. Black Bolt was the other one. Um, but I think Magnetos is a little bit more important than Black Bolts for the time being. Um, but, we, you know, we'll sort of put those in order. But, yeah, hit me up in the comments down below. Oh, you know what? Last thing. Sorry, Dr. Octopus, because we did get, we did pull an artifact. But we already, oh, he has a six star. God damn. Holy beans. Oh, and we need to equip uh, Destroyer. Of course, of course. We're not going to use it to reroll. No, no, no. No. So we go from 2% max HP heal to 10%. Or sorry, 5% with a 10% multiplier on the thing there. So bada bing, bada boom, boom, the immortal armor, yes. All right, very cool. And I'm rank 800, very nice. All right, hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.